So we focus on you know, taking AI and apply that into data analytics. So we don't provide um, you know, application for any other purposes except to analyze data. So my background is in data science. So prior to starting Hype Anna, I work in a data consulting firm in Australia. And my customers were you know, from some of the largest banks to retailers um, to telcos. And I guess one of the frustration that I had um, was, you know, um, we often receive a lot of questions from these, you know, customers wanting to understand about their portfolio, their performance, their campaigns, so on and so forth. Um, but the volume of those requests were really, really high. And as a human, no matter how hard I work, um, I simply could not turn around, I guess, the result as fast as the, the customer wanted it to be. Um, so that, that frustration actually is what compelled me to start HyperEnna um, because now I guess with our service um, we can actually help customers to build analytics at scale. So if you think about I guess you know the entire experience of asking an AI agent you know about performance or portfolios or um, anything else in the data it, it requires three steps right. The first one is natural language processing. This is where you know the agent or Anna actually has to be able to understand, you know, the meaning of your question. And as you know, um, human language has a lot of nuances in it. it. Is actually it opens a lot of room for misinterpretation as well. Um, so you know, the first task is to how do I understand correctly the context of your question, as well as the intention of that. The second step is to analyze the, um, the data and find out the patterns. So say for example if you ask the question of you know, how is your portfolio is doing, it's not a simple saying your portfolio is growing or declining, it's about why it is growing, why it is declining, which area, which customer, which industry, so on and so forth. The last one is about natural language generation. So, you know, as human, we um, ingest information graphically, but also, you know, the, you know um, through language as well, right? So, you know, Hype and I would return back the result in both graphical as well as narrative format. So, really easy for a non-technical users or business users to be able to digest the information quickly. So, from that perspective, definitely have to be an organization that is ready to transform from a knowing culture to a learning culture. What that means is a knowing culture is where you know you make decisions based on heuristic or gut feel or experience. A learning culture is where you know you want to make decisions based on facts, um, data, um, and and so that's that's the first thing and, and that's really important. Um, the second thing is definitely an open mind about you know collaboration. Um, it's a completely new field that you know neither um, the startup or the banks have fully under, uh, you know, understand how it's going to be applied in, in the real world. So I guess a co collaborative mindset is, is going to be key.